Hello silver lovers everywhere. Today is January the 8th, 2011. My name is Drutter. This video is about those milk spots that you find on coins with a very polished surface such as maples and other rounds. You don't see them a lot on silver eagles because the silver eagle has a um, frosted finish on it already. Here's uh, one you can see on the bottom there, quite clear. And this one right acro across the queen's face. And on this one, actually, there's a good angle here. And there you can see on the top there. Looks like spatters of liquid or something. I've done a lot of research into what this may be. I've been told it's acid testing spots, um, but I'm pretty much sure that it's not that. Um, I've also been told it's tarnish. It's definitely not tarnish. It doesn't come off with a typical tarnish removing procedure of baking soda, salt, hot water, and tin foil. And it's definitely not dirt. It can't be scrubbed off using uh, typical, you know, silver polish cleaners, um, baking soda and water, uh, scrub, toothpaste, nothing. Nothing will get these off. Uh, I've actually tried even scraping these with a knife, with a very sharp knife. It doesn't come off. This is baked into the surface of the uh, coin. So how this happens, I believe, is there's a process uh, during the production of coins and rounds where they have to harden the coin and round with a quick, very quick um, baking in an oven almost. And they go through in sheets, sort of on, on a conveyor belt. And uh, as they're moving along, they go through an oven and they're baked. Now, unfortunately, there is a detergent that's used during the... Um, minting process that can be still on the surface of the coins at that point and I believe that's how it happens is these droplets or smears of liquid are essentially baked on to the to the surface of the coin uh, it's at quite high temperatures um, several hundred degrees possibly more than that um, and uh, this this liquid the liquid is dried off but of course the residue that's in the liquid is baked into the surface of the coin as I said, there is nothing that can get these off. I've tried all uh, methods, and I know a lot of people who have tried as well. Now, does this deter from the value of your coin? No, it doesn't. Um, you still have an ounce of silver. It's uh, still recognizable as a coin. It's still government-issued or um, private mint-issued coin. It doesn't, ha doesn't um, lose any weight from this. It doesn't lose uh, any silver value. Now. You won't find this on a proof coin. If you buy a proof coin, uh, that is to say, uh, you know, a very polished finish, um, uh, you know, just a, basically a collector's piece, you will not find these milk spots on those pieces. So um, you will find it on this investment grade silver, um, like maples and, and business strike rounds from private mints. These are just investment grade coins and rounds. They don't have a lot of numismatic value. The premium is in the recognizability of the coin. You can take this anywhere in the world and someone will say, okay, I know what that is, it's Canada, um, it's got a $5 face value, and uh, you know any amount of dirt or uh, milk spots or anything on the coin is not going to detract from that. But uh, I understand that some people like their coins and their rounds to look, um, you know, in mint condition. So if this ever happens to you, what you can do is you can take it to any bullion dealer who deals in that particular coin. For example, uh, well, almost anyone will deal in a, uh, silver maples, but if it's a private mint, you might have to take it to um, a dealer that deals with that private mint. But take it to them and ask them if they'll exchange it, and I've done that before and it has worked out for me, so that's one way you can deal with it. Uh, another way you can deal with it is just not to worry about it. Or another way you can do it is to uh, trade the coin away and, you know, say, tell, sell someone I have uh, some, you know, spotty looking coins I'm looking to trade for so and so, and you can get rid of it that way. A lot of people don't actually care about it. Myself, I do kind of care. Um, it does look a bit ugly, I must admit. Um, and when I buy a tube of, of say, maples from my website, I will usually uh, look through them all before putting them on my website and just make sure that none of them are, you know, sometimes there's a little tiny dot, you know, in the corner or on a leaf or something that you can't even really see it. Th that's fine. I mean, uh, it's, it's hard to avoid on a lot of coins with a shiny surface. 
but uh, if it's really bad, I'll often just take that coin and just, that's, you know, this is mine. <laughs> Buy it off my own business, basically, and put throw it in the collection. Um, but yeah, you, there's nothing you can do to get rid of that, unfortunately. The milk spots are permanent, and this video is just, um, just to provide some information for people, because I, I get the question a lot, what are those spots on certain coins and, and rounds? That's what they are. Unfortunately, they're baked into the surface, and you're not going to get them out. Wish I had better news for you, but hopefully that clears up some questions, and I hope everyone's having a, a really good weekend. While I have your attention, I thought I would just remind you that paper is garbage. It's useful for paying your rent and your bills, but other than that, it has no intrinsic value. These bills could be thousands, they could be ones, doesn't matter. They all have the same value, which is nothing. Metal is money. Have a good night, guys.